This is Neil McFarquhar in Jene, Mali. This ancient city is famous for its mud mosque. The largest mud brick building in the world is a major tourist attraction, a giant sand castle dominating the town's renowned market square. Everything in Jene, from the post office to individual homes, is built with mud bricks. The town is a United Nations World Heritage Site. <laughs> this is a Jene brick. It's a cylinder, and it's different from a normal brick. But the heritage status has led to friction here. Homeowners resent the fact that under UN rules for heritage sites, they cannot modernize. Any remodeling, even inside their homes, must stick to the original design. It pleases the population because the town is well known. But the owners of the houses should be able to make small changes to the interior of their houses. But the facades would stay the same. All the buildings, and particularly the mosque, require constant upkeep. As you can see, on the upper part of the mosque courtyard walls, the plaster has washed away after just three or four rainstorms. All around the brick, you can see the marks of hands. We do it all by hand, which means that every man who does it leaves a part of himself in the brick. But the traditional restoration methods take money. The restoration of the Great Mosque alone is a $900,000 project funded by the Aga Khan Foundation. There is no such bounty for homeowners, and while they take pride in the tradition of these homes, they feel like they are just pieces in a museum designed to entertain tourists. There's a sort of tension, difficulty, that has to be resolved by not locking in people with the so-called traditional and authentic architecture. We have to try to find ways to evolve this architecture to bring it back to the necessities of life for the community. And do it in such a way that doesn't compromise the quality of the mud brick architecture, which is at the heart of the identity of the town of Genève. The town has failed to modernize in other essential ways. Jenne is drowning in garbage, open sewers run through the streets, and a rotting smell hangs over the town. Add into the mix climate change, which has lowered the river waters and lessened the quality of the mud, which in turn weakens the bricks and the buildings. The Malian government and foreign organizations are now turning their attention to Jenne's problems, trying to balance the frustration of the residents with history. If you destroy the history that tourists come to visit, if you throw out 2,000 years of history, if you destroy all that, the city will lose its soul.